Hi everyone, welcome back, we're in Cebu. Wow, we're in the Queen City of the South for a long weekend. We're gonna soak up the history and the vibe of the city, as well as visit the trendy modern malls and their food courts and buffets and huge skyscrapers. There's also unique street food and of course, the classic Lechon. Yay, finally Lechon at Cebu at an iconic location. But amidst the hustle and bustle of the city, we're also gonna find new friends and enjoy some stunning views. Let's get started at the biggest mall in Cebu, SM Seaside. This is the North Bus Terminal. This is where you get the my buses from that are not on Google. Okay. Let's ask. Can you see seaside? 30. 30. 30. 30. Whereabouts do you go? People are happy but very hot now. <laughs> SM Seaside. Let's get on quickly. Wow. Yeah, now we're in luxury. Uh huh. Nice. Everything's all about the windows. Huge! And clean! <laughs> My bus, not your bus. But at the North Bus Terminal, I did not see any food, toilets, juice, absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so we stopped outside a massive thing called the Robinson, Robertson Galleria. Zebra City, part two. Uh, uh, uh. Do you have a zip from the other way? Seaside city, it's more than a mall. Maybe number five in the world, it's massive. Yeah, it's really difficult to comprehend. <laughs> Spicy cheese. And garlic sauce. And wow. garlic, the works. Yeah. I wonder who the most popular fast food is. Hang in this off. Check out that queue. All the way out the door. Look at these absolutely awesome creatures. You could ride them. SM Seaside is actually the third biggest mall in the Philippines, which probably makes it about the fifth biggest in the world. Uh -huh. And we're going to explore it. It looks massive. Oh man, look up. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. <laughs> oh, no, that's, a, that's a really big corkscrew. I'm going to go get the wine now. And because it's SM, they've got a massive underground parking and it's completely free. For those who don't want to walk. <laughs> that behind me, the sea view entrance. When you come through that, you are going to be inundated by beautiful smells because this place is full of food. There are so many, I'm going to have to show you a few of them. But there are just too many foods to point out. It's like it says Gilligan's and they've all got like pirate gear on. Yeah, it's got a great Gilligan Island feel about it. And it's full, it is full full. You got the hungry Peter. I don't know who Peter is, but he's hungry. I think he's Greek. Ah, he's a Greek guy. Llamas, bowls, burritos, pitacos, quesadillas. This is one of the Peters. Shawarma. This is a shawarma. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. It's from the hungry pizza shawarma. Oh, it smells actually really good. Yeah, it's delicious. Spicy? Spicy. Yes, spicy. Cheese. Cheese. Spicy cheese. Garlic sauce. And garlic, the works. It looks delicious. Oh, it tastes very delicious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the large shawarma. The large shawarma. And look at that. Oh, and it just disappeared. <laughs> we lost it. Oh, no, we got a bag for it. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks great. We might get one of those. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's just like everything is full, right? Yeah. Very popular place. This I know where that smell was coming from. Yeah. Man, Isn't that a, so a strip club? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sizzling Burger Steak. 
There you go, that's what Sizzlers has. Oh man. Oh man, that looks good. Sizzling Burger Steak, 180. And the guy walks around with rice and gravy, topping you up. <laughs> oh, look at that. Niggas are train again. But it's so absolutely festive. You just feel like such an energy. First time we've actually been outside a king. Burger King. I'm just gonna go check what the prices are like. Burger King? Four cheese whopper. Yeah, wow. It actually smells really good in here. I wonder who the most popular fast food is. Hang in the south. Check out that queue. All the way out the door. Ah, ah. And this is a big building. This is a big, big building. Yeah, I guess we're not trying it's them. crazy busy. <laughs> yeah, and KFC ain't empty either. Wow. Well, it's an SM, so it should have a supermarket. But it's a supermarket, not a hypermarket. Well, let's have a quick look. Um... Is this a supermarket or is it a food court? The bakery? Yeah? Get all your breads out here. What? What is that? Oh, look, 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 look here. Oh, man. Ube means purple. Uh oh, uh oh. Someone's been craving sushi. Look how beautiful they look. They really are. I mean, are. they're reasonably priced. The problem is they don't put like tuna or anything. They put like crab or something. Oh, this is pretty cool. Upcycling and alteration so you can fix some of your old clothes. Get them to refit again. Once you've eaten all the great foods here. <laughs> we sort of bumped into the appliance section. That's Little pretty, pretty toasters. Buy three, get one free. So I think you can buy like one of these, one of these. And one of those. Okay. And the cheapest one is free. That one free. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just come we've just come through the regular section where you got your regular things like chocolates and beer and stuff. Okay, those aren't regular. I didn't mean to say that out loud. I mean washing powder and, and other things. But how's this veg section? Pretty well. Loads of fruits and things here. You can even get Okay, so this is the infamous Dorian. Let me just show you the price on this. 77 for 500 grams. I love these. You can get your salad. What is that? That is multicolored mini grapes because they're a lot smaller than grapes. I don't know what that is. Oh man, seafood. What a great seafood section. Oh man, these are the prices as well. And all the cuts of meat. That's blue marlin. And squid. There's a massive looking squid. Mm. I was just checking this out because I don't know what to do with the whole fish, but check. These are the seafood services, so they can clean it, they can slice it, fillet it, as well as debone it. Awesome. That's awesome. really cool. It is cool. This is a great meat section, but they also do the meat service, which is grind, chop, and debone. And the beef you generally get is like a T-bone, uh, some sort of rib steaky thing. These very thin, which are actually quite nice in your noodles. And various cuts for slow cooking. This is the beef section. That's the pork section. <laughs> Behind Ricky is the sausage section. Whoa. Oh, and you also got hams. Wow. Ricky's going to try and figure this out, but there we are. Okay. 16 a piece. So you can do your own pork barbecue. Yeah, they're quite big pieces. Yeah. I love all the different types of melons. And there's even two types of purple and papaya. Super popular though. Oh, yeah. Coming for more than one thing. And well, they've got some good choices here. Look at the size of that tea. That's a 60 for that size. I might get one of those. And then of course soft serve. Okay, don't come stand here. You have to go over here and pay first. <laughs> then you can come claim your treats. Look at that! Oh, oh, it looks so rich! Oh wow! 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man, Rick. Are oh, you just going to eat it straight away? This tastes like Hershey's. How do you know what Hershey's tastes like? Okay, we're trying to find a sea view, so this might happen quickly. We had a Chow King. Milksha. <laughs> Jolly Bees. Yeah, owned by Mung Innesal, so of course it's got views. Oh, it might be the other way around. No oh, man. You might notice that it's quite low because we were looking for a view. But now we're just sitting at the nice city bus terminal waiting area. Because, well, nothing prettier than a bus stop. But it is good ice cream. Well, this is actually the first time we're going upstairs. We have just literally been on the first floor and I think there are four levels. Oh man, looks like there's clothing. We're coming into a clothing zone. I know this because there's an H&M. Can we just swing you guys around? H&M. I think what's quite remarkable on the SMC side is it's like on a circle. So you get these curves throughout the whole mall. It's quite stunning. Oh, and here's the orange corkscrew. We were at the blue one earlier. Okay, we are just going to go outside. I'm not sure if this is outside, outside or, or what. Oh, it's hot out here. <laughs> but there's supposed to be a really tall building in the middle of it, I think. You can see all the way around. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, wait for it, guys. Yeah. Oh, man. You'll be able to see everywhere from there when it opens. Yeah, this is exactly what makes SMC Side Mall so unique. Look at this, it's all around. The whole thing is, you have businesses. <laughs> we've maybe, I don't know, we've, I don't even, a 16th. I'm just going to use me for scale because this is the roundy roundy bit, right? So we're going to keep turning, we're going to keep turning, uh huh. Yeah, there's a walkway, but wait for it, more roundy bit, then uppy bit. Yeah, uh, 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 big uppy bit. But, 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 it just keeps going round and round. This place is huge, no wonder it's number three. Maybe number five in the world, it's massive. Yeah, it's really difficult to comprehend. <laughs> Man, eh, Philippines, wow. Because you know how big all those shops are in there. You only get a true scale of this when you walk outside. Heading up to the next level. Man, there's still one above. But if it's like every mall we've visited so far, is the top floor locked off? <laughs> <laughs> Center stage. I suppose that's the movies. Well, Ricky's pointed it out. The H&M is on more than one layer. It's on two so far, so getting confusing. But, but, do they have a third layer? Nope, nope, they don't. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look at these cakes. Apple caramel gatto. Wow. How beautiful are these cakes? Oh, man. Ice skating. Does that say ice skating ring? Yeah, yeah. Upstairs. Yeah, let's go to the sky park room. Oh, there's a picture of me making those rice things and barbecuing. That's pretty awesome. That's Lapu Lapu! That is so cool! It is! Hot! Yeah, probably. That building looks amazing. I wonder where that is. It must be somewhere in Cebu. This is the outside ring, but, but there's gardens. I'm going to the gardens, Rick. I'm not going to walk all the way around there. Oh, man. Oh, wow. This is on top of a building, four stories up. Oh, man, this is awesome. I'm walking towards the sun. So you can see how clearly we got the shrooms. <laughs> but it promises awesome views. So not only is it a great garden, with some great mushrooms. I think they're gonna be some nice views. Hey, hey. Everyone! Hey. Can't get through. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> Hello. Hello. Everyone, I found some awesome guys for my vlog. Yeah. Hey guys, where are you from? What's your names? What's your names? Titos. Titos. Yeah. Alex. Alex. Jordan. Jordan. Remar. Roman. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being on my vlog. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Glacerda Jimani. I am. 15 years old. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Josepha Mundihing. 14 years old. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Are you from Cebu? Yes. Awesome. Bajau. Bajau. Okay, awesome. Have a, enjoy your weekend. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Guys, we're here at SM. Awesome! I can't remember how we do it. <laughs> Look at this. Well, I hope you guys can see something. It is so bright and sunny up here. I can see not a thing. But there's views. On top of the mall. We're like on seven stories up. Quite unique. Yeah, look how small that tower is now. Eh? Uh -huh. That's how high we are. <laughs> We're at the bridge. Yeah, great views of it and of the new mall that they're building next door. Yeah, because why have one when you can have two? <laughs> and there's a sea view. Yeah. Ah, the other one is the city wing. So there are four. So we figured out mountain, sea, city, and queue. Yes. Oh yeah, look down there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they're doing something down there. There's an event going on. Oh, she's doing her karate. And that over there is the free massage. You get free 15 minutes. So that you can keep walking around the mall and you really need it. <laughs> Still a train up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, ice skating. A day pass uh, during the week is 500, during the weekend is 600. That's for the whole day. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, and you get a polar bear to push if you don't really good. I'd be sitting on the polar bear, Ricky would be pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it does look like we have sort of bumped into the food court. Oh yeah, it definitely says food court, I'll show you that in a minute, but this is the foods. It's got this pretty awesome scene here, it reminds me of like something you used to do when you were a kid and string and stuff. Kwame or something. <laughs> but massive. As with everything at SM, it's huge. Fries have seriously become popular. Oh, and there's those pizza guys. There. It says food court. I mean, I mean, show, I mean, show you guys that it's a food court. I got you I covered. I got you covered. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it. Oh, dim sum. Oh. Bee steak and jambalaya. Jambalaya, isn't that like from the Louisiana? Anyway, Lechon Belly Kitchen. Oh, and they actually have Lechon Belly. Cool. I kid you not. Wow. <laughs> Spaghetti. Yes, sir. What, what are these things? This one, Lechon Sisig, sir. Sisig. 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 This one, Dip Kare Kare. This is Dino Boy. Wow! And this one, this is lechon bakpio. Lechon? Lechon bakpio. This one is papayitan. Beef papayitan. And this one is pork sinigang. The nolang is the fish. The nolang is the fish. This one, this is beef calderata. And this one, this is a laying a vegetable one. <laughs> Pencil, I know that that's like noodles. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, thank you so much. What is pretty cool? If you have no idea, just ask. They're really helpful. Thank you so much. And she'll tell you everything. You still won't know what it is, but at least you'll know the name. <laughs> find a new section, find a new section. Yellow spiral stairs. Oh, wow. And now this time we're looking all the way down. Oh, man. Okay, this might look a little bit bright, but there's sea views here. The food court is just behind me. But there's the cube. It's the cube with the sea and the bridge behind it. How awesome is that? And the reflection. I'm so good at photography. Look how awesome that looks. Beautiful. Master photographer. These flowers are actually moving as if by magic. Look at them open, look at them open. Mm -hmm. And just in case you're wondering, I'm just going to push a button, guys. Hang in there. <laughs> yeah, it's all the way down there. <laughs> cyber zone. So I suppose it's where all the cyber stuff is. Cell phones and what what. Puppies. So can I film them? Hey, puppies. What are you We're getting fed after midnight. Yeah, <laughs> little gremlins. What sweetie pies. <laughs> this is the cube wing with the beautiful flowers that Ricky got from miles up there. But there's something you don't often see in a shopping center. <laughs> wow. How beautiful are those cars? Uh huh. Yeah. Just come shop, get yourself a Porsche. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but apparently the first three words you can see will satisfy your hunger. Ah, uh, good luck guys, it might be a bit far away. and there's a boat, a plane, a cloud. Does it get better than that? A little bit of traffic in the front. And, and, and I'm just gonna rotate you guys a bit. Check out the bridge. Yeah, and that's not all. Look at all the traffic we have to get through. But there's more. Ha, ha, ha. It's the cube, of course it is. TikTok, it's kind of chaotic and no one really has right away but there you go <laughs> traffic okay it, it seems like you can get a taxi or a grab the grab spot is here uh, mountain wing it looks like mountain wing is the terminal but it seems anywhere underground here someone will come and pick you up and take you somewhere don't forget to come and do all 10 places the cube ice ring spiral staircases the cinemas bowling which we missed Seaside Tower, which is an open playground. Yes, the chapel we missed. Unparalleled views we got. And the food court. Now our bus is leaving. Let's go, let's go. Oh man, our bus is ready. Our bus is ready for us. Awesome. We're in downtown Cebu. And we didn't arrive by jeepney. But they look awesome here. Our first mission is to head down that way, which apparently is Colon Street, which is the oldest street. Actually, our first mission is to cross the road. It's Colon, chaos. Colon. Colon. Oh, it's Colon, not Colon. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we're waiting, a little history. I actually don't know much, but Colon. I said that right, eh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Colon is actually named after Christopher Columbus. I'm not quite sure how that works, but, but anyway. It seems like we might be able to cross now. Let's go. Look. It is, it is pretty cool. And what's also pretty cool is just getting the vibe, you know? Hey, my friend. Hi. Well, look at all these fruits. How are you, my friend? You're I'm good, thank you. What vibe? Mango. Is that chili? Yeah. They put chili with the, the, with the green mango. That feels so traditional. Very sweet, my friend. Oh. And there's salt. It looks like salt. Chili salt. 
Wow. I just feel like I'm at home. We yeah. got the fruit, we got the chili salt. Uh huh. Just more awesome. time. Awesome. And I can put this on. Oh, okay. I think dip, dip. To dip. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly try it. Okay. Dip it in the, the salt stuff. I don't know if you can see the pink on. Is it hot? She's nodding. It's very salty. Ah, and sour. But this is nice. Mm. Very delicious. Delicious. <laughs> you like that one, my friend? It's very. Try some of that. Oh. Look how much you put on. What is it? We don't know what it is yet. Small shrimp. Small shrimp? Yes. Just like fish. I like this. I like this. No. No shrimp and mango. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching me. New experience, thank you. Thank you. Uh, good. Cool. New experience. Cool. Ricky's not a big fan, she thinks it's too sour. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, what a fantastic new experience. And thanks for all you friends. Thank you guys, we appreciate it. But, but stay away from that red stuff. It's not worth it. <laughs> Back on the route, on the route. Let's let Ricky catch up a bit. Oh, look at the tiles. So these are really old buildings, except, except, I think those are fake. They're fake tiles. Oh, wow. Shoe repairs and watch repairs. Hi. Oh man, there's so much stuff. Get your keys fixed. Wow. It's like a oh Marve. Wow. I think it's crunchy. Of course we gotta try it. Cassava. Oh wow. Is it sweet or s sweet? Yes. Oh, okay, great. Okay, I will try one. <laughs> like, like hers. Is that it's syrup on top? Chocolate. Chocolate. We're assuming it's chocolate. Yeah. It could be little fish again. <laughs> just wait, just wait. But have a look at it. Oh, no, not for me, thank you. Is that for this? Oh, thank you. Change. So I'm going to try it. Oh, thank you. Crunchy. Cassava. It's like a chip, but a sweet chip. Ah, awesome. I'm going to say it tastes almost like potato. Okay. Oh, I like that. Totally new snack. That is really awesome. <laughs> it's molasses. Molasses, it's like, like dark yeah. sugar, not chocolate. Yeah. It's really nice. It's so crunchy. And this is the budget friendly store. It's really big and has loads of security. And everyone here seems to be friendly. Hi. And you can get some water. Oh, there's tons of cold water everywhere. Sorry, I'm just, just pointing out some stuff. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, we haven't even gone like 10 meters. No, we haven't. <laughs> Someone sharpening knives. With a, a pedal. I'm just going to zoom back a bit. Look at this. What an awesome machine. You can see the gearing and everything. Oh man, that's pretty awesome. That 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 is what you come here for. Oh man, shop me up a bunch of tools. This is why you come to these places because you never see that anywhere else. And it is so awesome to see. I just I just love that sort of thing. Anyway, onwards, onwards. Hi. Oh man, there's more stuff across the road and a Mickey D's takeout. Hi. Hi. 
Metro and we, we're on the corner. I think we've actually arrived at Cologne Street. This is actually Cologne Street. Welcome to Cologne Street, everyone. The oldest street in the Philippines. I guess they put a Okay, from here we can see the McDonald's is really full. Oh, oh and that's apparently a very old building. I mean, it used to be a theater or something. Oh, wait a second. Let me just zoom in on that a bit. Apparently an old theater. Wow, look at that trees at the top. It's like a it's swan. It's awesome, maybe. yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wonder what the oldest building on the oldest road is. Anyway, back on track for food. Oh, oh, really and then it looks like there's Jollibee's up ahead. Oh, man, if this actually exists. I want to be part of the shiratsha. You're never going to land. It's going to burn. We're going to die. Let's go get it, Rick. Let's go get it. Oh, wow. This is actually the biggest one we've ever been in. It's got upstairs and stuff. Anyway, I think you still have to choose a line and decide what you're going to get. Oh, order. Order away, Rick. Oh, we got, I saw a spot just around the corner there, right? Eh? I think this one's the best, but watch your head. Let's get started with the, the sundae. Before you always got to eat the pudding first, because other stuff can get cold, but this can't get hot. Oh, it looks amazing. It's got pieces of chocolate and, I, I don't know, it might be fudge Caramel? and biscuits and mm -hmm. I have no idea. Now well, let's have a go. It's like a salt fudge caramel. Oh wow. Mm, it's got a little bit of salt to it. Oh Yay. wow. I'm gonna quickly eat some more before I give it to Ricky because he's uh -huh. just gonna finish it. <laughs> oh You're Johnny. Gonna eat your fries. Go for it, Rick, go for it. In the Sunday. Because it's got salt caramel, so it should make them taste saltier. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, eh? Pretty good. <laughs> oh man. It does look good though. I'm just gonna lift it because it comes with a glove. Oh wow. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, I wonder if it's spicy or not because they, they ran out of the shorts away. Not ordering. Mm. It is so soft. Oh, wow, that's mm. a good looking piece of chicken. Mm. That's like a solid piece of chicken. Mm. It is so juicy, it is so soft. Melts in your mouth. It's not spicy, it's perfect. Mm. Juicy. Mm. Look how soft that chicken is. Oh, and it's hot. Mm. Oh, my word, what is that? That is so soft. Mind your head. You actually fit. Oh wow, what a friendly Jollibee. Thanks guys. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is where the night market is. But uh, it just says that on Google Maps, there's no actual evidence of it anywhere here. And so maybe... <laughs> oh, oh no, no, definitely not. But maybe they close off a street or something? Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Oh man, there are places where you find yourself walking a little bit slower. It's opening to the, the, the places that have AC and it just spills out into the street. It's awesome. Okay, we got our little running man. Oh man, more of that awesome fruit. Oh, and this is, this is the KFC. Look at all that chicken. Oh man, is that not chicken? But it says it's KFC, it must be chicken. Oh, oh wait, here's chicken. Oh man. For those interested in the pricing, there it is, 75 for a, a thigh and a leg. 
Red ribbon, we know that that's, that's part of Jolly Bees, eh? Hey? We didn't see it on their list. How the lights on those jeepneys, they probably come for the night market. <laughs> the Holy Spirit and the oh. tramp. The Holy Spirit and the tramp. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Cell phone repairs. Hi, my friend. Hi. Oh, and someone doing nuts. Wait, someone actually doing uh, those things. Hi. Sorry, sorry. And frying peanuts. How much are they, these ones? They have 10 pieces, they have 20. 20? What do I have? I only have 10. Sorry, I only have 10. Maybe you can do a small 10. Do you have a small 10 one for me? Why do I couldn't convince them to give it to me for 10, so I had to pay 20. <laughs> so they better, oh they're hot, they're really hot. I think they just come out of the fryer. Good peanuts. Good peanuts. <laughs> this is another McDonald's. No, there's one there. So it's not like we got turned around. We found a McDonald's and there's another one there. Awesome, maybe so it's a sign. there must be a Jolly Bees just around the corner. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> but this intersection has one, two, three, four, five, five all converging into one. It must be complete chaos. And, 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 uh -huh. good friend Ronald. <laughs> and would you believe, would you believe, Jolly Bee. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha Get yourself even run right off, hey buddy! <laughs> Not something you see every day. This is the jeepney of, of whatever, whatever, whatever the place this is. Oh look at this! They're like the tracks of, of, of Cologne Street. <laughs> oh awesome! There are loads of them. So you can get one of these for how much? 100. 100. Awesome! I don't think there's anywhere in Cebu you can go without seeing you guys. Sana, this is the Capital South building and it's got lots of traffic. How is this? Ca how, how are they not crashing into each other? Wow. Anyway, I wanted to show you this because, because... Hold on, it probably goes, it's probably lit up at that. Wow. Uh, hello. Okay, in a risky maneuver. Uh, uh, let's go, let's go. Go quickly. Because that way it can run you over. And on our left here, we have a corner store. <laughs> it's literally in a corner. It's a corner. No, it's a good joke, Rick. Uh huh. That was actually quite chaotic and because you've got to cross against three streets to go in one direction and uh, wow, wow. But anyway, that was fun, so let's carry on. Okay, so we're back on the, the guy in Sana. Guy, the, the guy over there is there. And here we got a bunch of uh, cell phone repair places. But anyway, again, we're up on, on the raised sidewalk. But seriously raised. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You don't accidentally step off it. Hi. <laughs> we only had to walk like 150,000 kilometers, but we finally found our one peso water. And now he just needs a, a bottle. Oh wait, I have one in my backpack. Okay, now we've got to find Alan, because apparently it's one Alan. <laughs> we'll just assume that's him. That's Alan. Oh, it's working. It's, work, it's working. Alan, Alan and a peso are the same guy. Nicely done. <laughs> well, we are getting towards... We, we had a bit of a dull area there where there wasn't much. Now we're getting some clothing again and... and Keen Lodge, but it says it on the side as well. <laughs> Keen's Lodge. 
all in some foods, some great looking foods. Oh, and now straight away, as soon as you see one, there's another. Yeah. Army stuff. Wow. Coast Guard. Well, I bet they have full size adult section here. <laughs> huh? Haven't actually seen anything like this yet. <laughs> when they're actually doing stuff in the back there. I suppose this is where the security guards come and get their boots and, and their uniforms and things. Their batons. Their batons, yeah, and belts. Oh, Matt, KTV. That's Ricky, that's not the karaoke people. Oh, fluffy. Oh, there's a CFC. Oh man, that's how you pile up chicken. Oh, 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 oh. A thigh for 35. Carlito. Nice, wings 35. Yeah, these don't look small. Yeah, they wings. And that's the pricing. There we are. Oh wow, Carlitos is packed. They might be CFC, but they've got chicken at cheap prices and the place is full of people ordering five or six pieces at a time. That's the one central mall. Uh, do you think our... Well, well... <laughs> so they've still got some of the old cheap, cheap knees. Awesome cheap knees with the big lights. Okay, okay, I think I think this is like the, the Gainsano block That's that we've walked there. around. Is there another one? Uh, I think there is. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I mean, there can't be that many on one block. It is a little bit of chaos. You'd have to pick your way to walk. I think we chose the wrong one here. <laughs> Pavement disintegrated. Oh, coconuts. Hi. Wow. Hi. I think we're coming around to the edge of our, our block. I think we just walked around the whole block. This is the University of Cebu and they've got a wall of fame. Awesome and congratulations to some guys. But you've got gates, male and female entrance. Awesome, so this is the university. You guys might not notice it, but across there that's where we started where i said it was colon street instead of <laughs> canal street <laughs> co 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 anyway instead of that but anyway we then went down that way uh -huh. walked down there saw mcdonald's went to jollibee's then walked across there back up back here we've done the whole block we've done the guy in several university block awesome this guy's selling water oh, in our bus we actually water. bought it Awesome! Happy McDonald's! <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy birthday! Oh, here we are, Robinson's Galleria Cebu. So, if you're that way inclined, hey, you can actually jog. <laughs> stunning, stunning children's play area. Look at a jumping castle and ball pit and everything. Looks amazing. And this is just my impression. This is the Robinson's department store, which means there's probably a couple of them above and a couple of them below in the supermarket somewhere around there. Yeah. That's how they always work. There's a downstairs, but there's an upstairs, and we've been informed that there are six levels. These things are massive. The malls in the Philippines are just insanely huge. Going down on the elevator. Oh, there's the free shuttle waiting service waiting area. Oh, and then you can do like selfie things here. <laughs> well, this is the shuttle service right here. Monday to Fridays and then Saturdays to Sundays. Yeah, so make, make sure you know which day it is. But if you have a look, you can actually get to some interesting places. Southgate, I don't even know what Southgate is. I don't know, but I want to go there now. And I've heard about Fuente. Yeah. So yeah, you actually catch a shuffle, shuffle, shuttle to all these places. 
forgot to mention they actually do have parking here. I don't know if it's free or not, but probably. It looks even more impressively big from way down here. <laughs> oh man, it's massive. Al fresco. That means, I don't know, it's still Italian or uh, outside. I don't believe it for a second, but I've just been informed that people like to come here because it's a small one and it's not too busy. It's not small, guys. It's not. You saw. If you put a mirror here, it makes it look like they've got more so that they breed. <laughs> yeah. Flamingo fat. <laughs> but apparently Robinson's Galleria is um, artistic and cultural, so this is probably like an art installation. Oh, I'm standing on someone's art. Probably. <laughs> Very, very cool. There's a lion. There's a zebra. There's a very funny sign. <laughs> Look at this giraffe. Oh man. Yeah. Perfectly camouflaged for the savannah. It's a Zen garden. And I suppose, like a labyrinth, you contemplate things while walking around a rock. It is pretty cool. We actually have palm trees growing here and there's another level but I think I think we've we've done enough levels now. Okay, it hasn't been long now, but I'm gonna call it this is a place you can get lost in again. There are more directions in that direction. There are more that way. And they say it's not big, it's massive, and you're gonna get lost. So come get lost with us. Oh but you you camouflaged, we can't see you anymore. <laughs> oh man, check out this guitar! Oh, oh, oh! Keep going up, guys! Keep going up! Ah, ah, ah. Epic! Sound checks going on outside, but here we are into the alfresco wee bit. We got a ramen of Cebu and a bit of gardening. There's still signs saying alfresco there. Oh, we still got to get to more alfresco. So, the Buzz Cafe. Oh, that's the Boho Bee Farm, guys. Oh, and there's Max's restaurant here. I've been informed by someone that they deep fry a whole chicken. Well, it seems like our fresco this ended and uh, we've come all the way around and it looks like there's another entrance here. So we can try that because, oh, there's a tea and bean so we can get our coffee. Just something of note, we've been counted twice. So when it's like 100,002 people, we're the extra two because we got recounted there. But we're in a whole new place. Papi, can we say hello? Yeah. Go say hello, Rick. Hey puppy! Oh, what a good puppy! Oh, this is the brick place! But check what they have, they have free coffee! So if you get a dessert, you get a free coffee! Tres leches! Tres leches! Red velvet! Concord chocolate cake or tiramisu! Mm. Awesome! La lamb adobo. Normally it's chicken or pork. And it says lamb. It does say lamb. Man, our prize has arrived. Look at that cake. Oh man, the cherry on top. <laughs> it's got a cherry on top. Epic. Well, so Ricky's got some really strong dark coffee. Oh yeah. It's lemon. But so you can't actually get white coffee. But you can get creamer. Oh, let's see this cake. Chocolate cake. Oh, it feels dense. Oh, oh look at that. Like a mousse cake. Oh. Awesome. Brick. Yeah, it actually has really, really good cake and coffee. And the smell from that food, we are definitely coming back to, to try some of their, their more main meals. This is the marketplace. I'll show you the sign, but we're already in. When I saw these great foods, you can just come and choose what you want. And some of these things, like you actually want to try them. It really does look good. This is actually a salad bar. And all the stuff is frosted over, but look at all the fruits. And it really looks good. And those jellies. Oh, you can't get to the jellies, it doesn't have a handle. And little potatoes and Oh, potato salad. Oh, wow. This is a pretty cool produce zone. I mean, they have some things like baby potatoes, which we don't see much of, and butternuts, and all those things that, I mean, 
things that I don't even know the name of. And then all the regular things. Uh, what a sad day. Ricky just bought her Vati and now they got her on special for buy one get one. Oh, what a pity. Sorry, Rick. You want to get it anyway and we'll freeze it? We've got so many choices of cheese here and cold meats that we just can't help ourselves. And it's a big, big place. You're going to find it here. If you want it, you're going to find it here, I'm sure. Oh, wow. What is that? It's a flower of meat. I'll put that in the center of my table. For sure. <laughs> Man. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Like a chicken pasta salad. But I tell you what, Please. these like sushi salad things. Oh, they are so beautiful. Nice. And oh, sushi. Obviously they have sushi as well. Um, Fried egg on a bread, I'm getting that. I'm totally getting that. Oh, you also have cheese luncheon bread. Oh, I'm getting my egg thing. It looks so cool. Thank you so much. Thing. Go ahead, Brian. Oh, thanks, Rick. I'm just going to bite into the yolk. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Does it feel like a kid? Happiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cheese and ham. Fair enough. That's quite a lot of cheese in there. Mm. It tastes cheesy. Mm -hmm. So, we've got multiple layers of, of department stores. I think there are like four of them. This is the fourth one. And then at the top there is the movie world. Yeah, if you have a look, it's, it's like your licensing department there. I'm just going to spin around. I'm not quite sure what the Professionals Regulations Commission is, but it's right there. We've got all these shops around the edges. Have a look at them all. Uh, mine's a bit bright to see outside, but we'll use Ricky's in a minute. But you can see downstairs as well, there's lots of dining out areas. I think, oh, it says food gallery. I see it. I see it. I think we have found it. Up the escalator. Uh-huh, because we are promised a food gallery. Well, it looks like the food court has a marina, yeah, with all the classic marina foods. Oh, they have a pepper lunch, which is those sizzling plates. She's actually making one. Oh, man. Here we go. On with the rice. Uh-huh, sauce in the middle. Next up, corn. Oh, that looks like pieces of bacon. Bacon around the edge. Salt and pepper. Oh, and another sort of spice. Now we're getting the liquids on. A little bit of greenery. <laughs> All right. And wow. it's done. Uh, honey brown sweet and garlic soy sauce. Garlic soy. Oh man. Yeah, it looks so good. And it's still sizzling. Honey brown. And then you eat it. Yeah. Perfect. Go find the spot. Uh huh. <laughs> Nah, nah. You gotta take that off anyway. But let's get the beef. Prettier. I gotta take. Oh, oh, it's all yeah. caramelized and beautiful. You like just mix it all mix together. Mix it all together because there's, there's you put stuff under the the rice. Oh wow! But let's just mix it all. Oh, the egg is starting to stick. Oh, what a great experience! Yeah. <laughs> you ready, Rick? Yeah. Oh, don't break! Don't break for me now. Come on, come on. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's what we want. Okay, get in close, Rick, get in close. Let's watch this thing ooze. Oh. oh, man. Does that just not look so good? Definitely get the extra egg. Oh, here we go. Mmm, peppery. Ah, mm. actually peppery. Mm -hmm. It's in the name. Mm. And in the food. <laughs> he put a load of pepper on. Oh, wow. You can taste it. It's really good. Look at all the black dots. That's all pepper. Oh, okay. Miso oh, soup. Yeah, I've heard of it a lot. I have no idea what it is. I think it's something Japanese. Well, what's that? I, I, okay. Green. There's green and there's... And there's a little bit of... Something else. What? 
I don't know what that taste is. <laughs> it's like a little bit fishy and, and a little bit seaweedy. Okay. But that must be like what miso is. Oh. It certainly is unusual. You have never had this flavor before unless you grew up in this part of the world. <laughs> Check it out. Wow, this got heavy. It's so far. <laughs> Ube cake. Crepe cake. You gotta try that. Look at that. Oh man. I'm gonna go get a spoon. Wow. Baked crepe cake. Say that three times quick. <laughs> Look at it. It's like layered. Can you see? I can see. It looks like those little layers of crepe. I assume so. Wow. <laughs> Flaky Larry. This is so good. Yeah, that's the view from up here. It's the whole harbor. Oh, wow. Well, this is movie world. Uh, we found it on the top layer. And, uh, well, they're showing movies. Uh, actually, it's a lot bigger than I thought. We got one, two, three, four there. I'm just gonna swing you guys around. Get your snacks and popcorn. That's more quite nice. And five and six down there. Wow, big cinema. I have seen a lot of Korean shops. But I've never seen a Japanese one. But wait a second, wait a second, guys. Look at this. You can come play chess. Up for a game, Rick? Yeah. I ate too much. <laughs> oh, they also have the massage thing here. Looks awesome. Let's see, 30 minutes, 110. We completely missed this whole section, which is like Sable Delights and things like that. Oh, we're back at the guitar somehow. Robinson's Galleria. It is just the right size with everything you need. We've arrived at our new place. Sneak peek. Yeah. Go check it out. Look at it. Man, it's got a rice cooker. Of course it does. Sink. Massive fridge. Uh -huh. Fully stocked. Oh, okay. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Microwave. A big table. Big table. Massive TV. TV. Bed. Access from both sides. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen that? AC, uh -huh. obviously. A side view. view. Oh, uh -huh. a couch. Yeah, yeah. A massive, huge couch. And we have look a look at this. Look down there. It's a bit scary, guys. That's the SM, uh, SM City. <gasps> All the way down there, we're on the 24th floor. It's going wow. to be magical. What do you think of this place? On special? $25 a Goda. Per awesome. night. And there's a bathroom, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one fatal floor. There's no bathroom. No, of course, there's a bathroom. <laughs> With hot and cold water shower. Right, so really quickly, we're in a taxi. What's your name? I am Ronello. Ronello. Hi, Ronello. <laughs> well, this is on the side of the park we came to. So they got this, which is 400 years in the Philippines. Either exercising or TikToking, preparing to TikTok. No, TikTok exercise. TikTok, awesome. You guys were great. I've got video. It's gonna go on YouTube for you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, that's his name. But what an awesome statue. What's even cooler about the statue? It's right next to the fort. So we're gonna go to the fort. It's like the oldest fort in the Philippines, or Tristad, or the smallest, or something. And it promises cannons, so we're going to see if it's got some cannons, Rick. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Fort St. Pedro, Cebu City, Philippines. But how awesome is the entrance to it? El, El Fuerto de San Pedro, 1565. <gasps> and you can see the coral and some of the stones. That's actually a coral pattern. Oh man, they just probably took them like straight from the sea. And they got some old pictures and things. But this is probably like they're saying Zebu, but maybe this was Zebu City originally. And this is where the fort was. And up there, yeah, that's where the Robinson's Galleria is now. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and it was made out of wood originally. 
you can see some of the remaining wood in the ceilings I think it's quite incredible it's amazing oh, did you see the size of the doors behind you those things are monsters hey okay. thank you check out this arch and check out the fort above <laughs> epic Well, it looks like there's an easy ramp up. Safety notice for Ricky. Please use the railing. Pull yourself up. <laughs> it's not that steep. <laughs> I was wrong. It is that steep. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, I've been inspired because they're cannons. Look at the cannons. <gasps> there are so many of them. Oh, wow. Off in that direction. Uh huh. And protecting the city in that direction. We've got a something here. Okay. It's the electrical distribution box. And you've got to come at a time that's not so hot. But wow, how thick are these windows? They're obviously going to do something in there. Oh, and the upstairs is locked off. But anyway. Yeah. I do go on about the coral a bit, but it's awesome. I mean, because they would have built it from the stuff that was right here, and this would have been like a big coral reef. Oh, and here's the flower cannon that we saw from below. With the flowers and the cannon. That's pretty cool. Awesome. More cannons. And the other corner, because there's a triangle. This fort wasn't to protect the, the Filipinos from the British. Like, like like we had in uh, Mauritius. Yeah, this fort was actually bought to stop the, the Moorish raiding parties coming looking for slaves. So they actually built this and put the cannons. They also had other towers everywhere else to, to stop the ships. But the guys used to come here and actually come to try to get some slaves. So they built this and it was actually pretty effective against that. And that's pretty awesome. Ah, oh, and this is another corner. As you can see, it's got the fire across the bit. But it's got a bit of a garden here. Here. We got this. Oh, and there's a guy over there. But, 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 I'm just going to take the shortcut down here. Don't need to go see that bit. Oh. It's so hot. <laughs> Time to head to the museum, see if it's air conditioned. Uh huh. <laughs> Perfect size fort, just big enough that you can explore it all, but don't come in the midday sun. It is a scorcher. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful fort. Wow, this is going to be TikTok Park for sure. <laughs> for those who live at BGC, this is what it's named after. This guy, looking a little BCG. <laughs> there are, there are a lot. And I'm just going to swing you guys around a bit. Oh, you can't see it from here because it looks like bullhorns. Yeah, you see, they're like bullhorns for the veterans of Cebu. Oh man, how awesome is this? You've got you've got the, the horse and you've got the old sugarcane wagons. Actually no these are people wagons. Oh man with the horse toperies. Oh these things are epic. How cool is that? Very cool. Yeah. Well this is the fort here. Yeah? We just came out, that's the entrance there. So just been you guys around, Ricky with an umbrella. And this is where the museum is, it's the yellow building. You're gonna have to check your bag if it's too big. Thank you so much. We don't like to use video in the museum, <laughs> but in the bathroom, it's very nice. We'll go see what the museum looks like. Wow, the museum is actually really cool. Because it's air conditioned. No, <laughs> definitely go and it is air conditioned. It's worth the visit. And it's not just because of the air conditioning. It's got some awesome things. We took some photos. You are allowed to take photos. So here are some of the photos. And they had the tiniest little buffalo here in Cebu at one point, as well as giant fish, which are still here. But check it out. It's quite interesting. Yeah, that's me with a hand cannon. Uh-huh. Awesome. And all these pots and things. It is a hot summer's day. But anyway, it's actually not summer, it's winter. <laughs> but this is the museum here. And then we swing around. That's the bridge. That's the big new bridge. Yeah. It's like the Christmas building. It just got abandoned. Oh man. And there's more stuff up ahead. And I wonder what it was. Oh, and these are the, the fire guys. Are oh, they actually fixing it up? Hi. Hi. Are you fixing the building? Huh? Are you fixing it? Oh, 
putting decoration. You're putting decoration. Oh, are those lights? Yeah, lights. The guys Hello, are putting lights. Okay. Yes, yes. Shout out, okay. Rami Shabo. <laughs> there we are, guys. You got to shout out. How did it work? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, thanks, and you? Good. Good, good. Making it look beautiful with the lights. Ricky says we must go to my park. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. But this is pretty uh, funny, Rick. <laughs> my park. Anyway, how cool is this? I think it's like a church. St. Nino Chapel. Wow. You're probably not getting the scale, but that is. It's huge. And the church was back that way. That one with the big St. Nino's. And this is the way apparently to the the Magellan's Cross. Oh, we think. <laughs> well, yeah, we sort of hope. <laughs> okay, so there's a hardware across the way there. But I think we've actually arrived. Yeah. I think this is actually it. I get the feeling we can't have anything back to front. Maybe, maybe. And we're coming in the back way. Oh, well, we're almost at Magellan's Cross. We'll show you that in a minute. But look at what we discovered because we came the wrong way. Yeah, it's the City Hall. <laughs> well, we found the city hall of Cebu. Awesome. And this is Magellan's cross. Well, I think it is. We're not 100%. The cross of Magellan, it does say that, actually. This is the building. But how cool is the building behind it? I wonder what it is. I think it might be one of the... Hi. Oh, not for me. Thank you. 1941. I'm sure he was here earlier. But anyway. And this is it. Magellan's cross. Oh, man on this very site. So the original cross actually inside that cross, this is just a wooden uh, protection. It's pretty cool actually. Yeah, pretty awesome. Magellan's cross. It is very, very important and it is actually really there just didn't mind the wood. Wow, on this spot. Awesome. Something's going on. But more and more people are getting involved. Well, interesting things do happen. We need to get one of those things that just translates so we can actually know what's going on. It's not something political. <laughs> Guess what we found? <laughs> I love Sebu sign. So we can take some pictures in front of it. <laughs> no, we're not at McDonald's again. <laughs> we're eating at a Calendera. <laughs> our prizes. <laughs> oh, ice cream. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it is so hot. You just got to... Uh -huh. <laughs> the Philippines is definitely somewhere where you have your pudding before your mains. Because if you don't, you're just going to be drinking your pudding instead of eating it. What a pounder with cheese. Let's get our first look. Uh -huh. oh. Oh, wow. It's actually a really big patty. It's a massive patty. <laughs> and genuine quarter pounder. Real McDonald's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, awesome. What did you get? It's a quarter pounder deluxe. Let me show you. It's got salad on it. Wow, with that salad. That's looks pretty nice. And you do pay a little bit extra for it. I was expecting much more of a garden on it, but I suppose in the Philippines you don't get much lettuce. No, no, no. <laughs> Still looks okay. That is actually. <laughs> get is all the lettuce. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. That was a great little stop. <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah, I know. He's selling guitars. Awesome. Ah, no thanks. Oh, it's souvenirs. No, not for me. Thank you. What are those? They're like, they're like massive beans. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're huge. I don't see any lying on the floor, but they're massive. Collegio Stonino. Well, here we are in it. Oh, they have a water ATM. <laughs> Lots of places. No. And loads of candles. I was sort of expecting that.
Yeah, like you said, I wasn't expecting balloons. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, and there's the church up there as well. Oh, that's the wow. oh is this the actual church? Oh, wow. Pretty impressive, eh? I must say, a little bit um, surreal. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit weird. Now, apparently, there's another one just across the walk there. Uh huh. Oh, there's a bell. Check out the bell. Wow. Oh, that's a big bell. Hang on. Sure. Santa Nina. I actually thought this was a walkway, but a car's going through. Anyway, Chow King, I'm just going to turn you around so you can see the church on this side with its bells and everything. And then we're going to walk through here, and then you can see another church in the corner there with bells oh, as well. Yeah. Oh, they have the proper one here. The real Cebu. What is that stuff called? Chicharron. Oh, and then some places to eat here. Total chaos, but we're going to go forth. Not get run over. Hey, he's going to wait for us. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to actually just climb through the gate here. Or so it seems. Wow. Really old with the balconies. And it is. It, it's, not, it's not quite right. It feels like medieval uh, Spain or something. And I actually have an interesting fact after we came back from the fort. You see these bell towers? They were actually fortifications at one point. Yeah, sure, they, they were always been bell towers, but the Spanish actually built them as forts so that they could actually protect the people. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, look at these walls. You can kind of tell it's like, yes, part of a church, but it's also. It's a, it's a massive like battlement. Ancient graffiti. It's really cool. You do need to come here. Wow. Really, really quite wow. Pretty cool building. Stone below, wood above. Nice. You might be wondering what we're doing in a taxi. Well, we gave up on waiting for our jeepney and it's just easier this way. No jeepney. No jeepney. <laughs> yeah, because very traffic. Yes. Ah, lots of traffic. Yeah. Thank you so much. What's your name? Michael. Michael. Michael, thank you awesome, so much. Michael. Oh man, we just walked across this. <laughs> chaos, guys, chaos. It's pretty awesome. Well, anyway, let's go. We've been needing to come to Fuente Circle. But anyway, let me just swing you guys around a bit because the fountain was built in. 1912 but this place is more famous now for the fancy exclusive hotels and big condos and pretty much all the new openings and all the malls, all the malls and it is a place to be see loads of people practicing these things dancing yeah, yeah until recently the cinema festival thing used to come through here really but now they've moved it to like uh, el corso area okay we got some guys doing their dancing. Hey. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. People are so friendly here. Okay, I don't want to say I'm scared, but wow. Crossing the road here is, is really taking your life into your hands. You got to be so confident and not get run over, I don't think. Yeah, there's supposed to be a great uh, food court, food park thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it opens right. a bit later. We'll have to try to find it. We'll ask someone. Yeah, but first things first. Oh man, so <laughs> nervous. Come on Rick, let's go. And look at this, look at this. Almost no traffic. Come on Rick, come on. <laughs> there we are, I think we made it. I think it was the easiest crossing ever. The cars just stopped. They genuinely stopped coming. <laughs> Robertson's Fuente and it looks like you have to walk up over this part of the road which I think is a lot safer than just crossing it Not to be left out. That's Jollibee's it says there, but I think it might actually be inside the restaurant right there I mean, The mall the mall not the restaurant <laughs> You guys are in bright sun because well the Robinson's there in the circles there But 
we've decided to walk down here a little bit to go see the biggest building in Cebu. It's this one here. It's called 101 or something. Horizon 101. Let's go check it out. There does seem to be a lot of stuff down here. We, we've just taken this for the walk still. So we've got a dim sum king. We've got Paris Pinoy. And then a chow king. We crossed the street. But look at this. you got wings and... Proper Indian restaurant. We actually are going to go visit those guys at some point. So look out for that video. For sure. Always on the lookout for good Indian food. And there's another Buffalo Brads. Hot wings. Just a point of interest. If you're in a wheelchair, you're going to have to go along here. It does say that you can probably go along there. But there's no way you're going to up and down on this. It is just too steep. It really is starting to look a little bit high up there. Wow. Awesome. I think it's a bit of a mall here because I see there's a 7-Eleven there. Well, I'm not quite sure how this mall works. It looks like more like a parking. Hi, yes. Hi. Nest. A nest. One of those... Spaces. Yeah. An Horizon 101 sales information center if you want to know how tall it is. Because you can buy a condo store. Okay, wow. Foreigners are allowed to buy condos. And we've got nails and beauty through here. Man, well, it's all about the condo here, I and mean, you can buy them there, the lifestyle, right on Fuente's Circle. So you get some hot dogs, cookies, lots of donuts, loads of chocolates, ice creams, more ice creams. Oh, they sell ice, that's useful because some places don't have fridges. Your standard cosmetics and things. A little bit of chips, some teeny weeny breakfast cereals, mm. all chocolate, potato chips, beers, and some juices. That's what your 7 Eleven is if you're staying at Horizon 101. Yeah. I've also got mine and some pretty good looking chicken. Yeah, chicken does look good. Yeah. Oh, there's a Domino's hidden around here. <laughs> yeah. 50% off selected pizzas today. Uh, we come around the corner and there's a bit of a food court. So you got some coffee, Tokyo Tokyo, and a couple of other places. You got some Thai food here. Oh, oh that's the Tom Yum stuff you like. <laughs> this is the Tokyo Tokyo. Oh, we've never actually been. We've got to make a plan to come sometime. Oh, flower shop. Food to your hand market. Korean convenience store. Not just, oh, oh, they got congratulations. They're not a flower store. <laughs> they obviously just opened or something. Check out the cars. <laughs> They're massive. Little Rick. Oh, it's pretty nice and cool in here. I think it's like a Korean version of 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, you can buy that ice. Then I assume you can get a juice. Yeah, you go, yeah. Oh look, yeah, iced tea. This is so cool. Yeah. Looks like a stove. You can cook your noodles on it. Yeah. Oh wow, that is awesome. <laughs> These are Korean chips, but they do have like Cheetos. So of course, loads of noodles. And they've even got a place where you can go cook them. Proper, proper noodle. And all your sauces. The dried seaweed. <laughs> wow. And big bags of them as well. And freezers and freezers of um, um some, so. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and things what we don't know. They got sausages on a stick. Okay, and yeah, again, ball things. Classic Korean uh, ales, yeah, and I think these are wines, I'm not 100% sure, but also some you'll recognize, <laughs> and then some you won't. I thought this was tea, but it then is. it's got like wheat, no, from wheat? Yeah, it's like Lipton's, but made from wheat. <laughs> I would call that like bread or beer or something, and corn? Wow, we must be able to create some time. 
I must say we're quite out of our depth with a lot of this. We don't even know if it's supposed to be cooked or just eaten like a snack. Probably something like this would be safe. <laughs> <laughs> French biscuits. Okay, we found things we understand, right? But look how many different types of flavors of Oreos they have. If those are still Oreos. Yeah. Wow. Sort of, yeah. But, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at it closer like I can read. <laughs> Suddenly you can read. If you get close enough, you can read Korean, Rick. And kimchi, but check this out. Soft boiled eggs, uh-huh. And raw eggs. Oh, wow. And loads of other things that are fish ball, tofus and things. But I assume you put in your noodles that you cook on the stove yourself. I think this chicken just eats. Salmon, mayo, yeah. Tuna mayo samgak, it has instructions. I don't know what a samgak is. Me neither, I don't know what the instructions are, but it says number one, full. Running away from the copyright music, running away from the copyright music is not intentional, don't mean to use it yet. No K-pop, yeah, no K-pop. Okay, take two. Number one is done, but then they say there's two and three, so you... Well, number one was pull the tab. The tab is pulled. Mm -hmm. Number two in that direction. Oh. And number three in that direction. And then you have this sort of whatever this is. Sam Gok. <laughs> oh, it's a sandwich of, I don't know, she nori and... Yes. No, let's have a bite. Mm. Oh, crispy. Mm. I wasn't expecting crunch. Mm. It's surprisingly nice, but you should dip it. Ah. This is our first ever trying, well the only word we can read is original. <laughs> yeah, we don't even know what original tastes like. Oh wait. More packaging. Ooh, now really, we can read really it. Really original. Yeah. Looks like a little crab. What's that? Oh my word. What are those? Those puffy little, little crabs. Oh wow. That looks like a crab. Does it taste like it a crab? <laughs> <laughs> well, 101 Horizon Condominiums and that new shop are behind us. And we're actually heading up to, to the circle again. To go see some of these malls. Wente Circle. Aha, uh -huh, we're back. And this is the Robinsons. So it's Robinsons Fuente. Up or down, up or down. Ah, uh, 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 let's go down. Up, let's go up. <laughs> we got a Mang Inesol, straight up. And it's like so busy here, you can just hear people. And just come through security, they have a metal detector. Flowers. Oh, wow. Yeah, Hi. Free massage, free massage. Uh, free no, massage. Yeah, today. just like Not my today. Today. I think that's for GP. Oh, yeah, look I at this know. place. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Robinson's department store is here. And there's an escalator that goes up and a dim sum break. We'll, we'll head up for a bit. Super narrow escalator. But we did check, there's one coming down. <laughs> we don't get stuck up here forever. More Robinson's department store. Check out these bags. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you for shopping. We still haven't finished, we haven't got to the supermarket bit yet. But anyway, check this out. You can actually sit here behind Ricky. And this is the bus schedule. So you can get to uh, Robinson's Galleria. This is the Fuentes one. So you can go from Robinson's Fuente, which is here where those people are sitting, at those times. Straight up, we have a handyman. <laughs> and food, pizza, yeah, a thirsty, and uh, cakes and patisserie. Oh no, there's tons of stuff down here. There's a lay lamb and, and others. We'll go have a quick look. Oh, this is the marina. Oh, this is the lechon version. Hi. So they've got all these great soups and things. And of course the lechon. Yes. Oh, oh. And then next door we got tik tila. Wow, anyway, I, I don't know about that, but check out these. Wow. And, and, and more stuff. This place is huge. This is the food court. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Hi. How are you? Good and you. Ah. Look at these tiny little crabs. <laughs> and awesome pork looking stuff. Oh man. There's also a huge supermarket. A Robinson supermarket like we've already shown you. Oh man, we've got another entrance here. There's a Robinson's winter, yes. It's the pharmacy section. It's the other end of that food court I just showed you. 
So anyway, now we have to try. Buy a meat cooker. So there must be this this market that Ricky keeps going on about. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be over there somewhere, but it really smells like it's around this corner. Okay, so we're gonna have to cross the road here. Just under the walkway, we've got loads of things. So this is where it was coming. The smell was coming from here. And check out all the fruits. Oh, oh pineapple, whatever the white one is, and uh, whatever the pink one is. And the guy's cooking the fish things, and we got some bananas. And well, let's get up the stairs. Wow, it's Fuente Circle. We should have escalators. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, we've got an elevated view of Fuente Circle now. Oh well, I gotta admit it's probably seen better days. It was probably quite a thing in its time. We're obviously building something there. This is a long straight road that just heads off into somewhere. Man, check it out, that's a proper jeepney and he's prettied himself up on the front and everything. And Oh yeah, no, we still have proper jeepneys here. But none of them are the ones that take us home. This is the Bank of Commerce. And how can you tell it's locked? <laughs> There's a chair in the door, so you can't open it. <laughs> we are back in business. Thanks to those kind people across the road. They sent us in the right direction. We're hoping, we're hoping. It's called the Lucian or something. Here we are, they're building something new here. Because it's on Fuente Circle, but we are behind it at the moment. And we're heading down to, oh, we can smell it now, barbecue. Oh yes, and you can see it through there. <laughs> Nighttime barbecue pits. I'm not sure I'd quite want to be wandering around here at night though. <laughs> Let's go see what they got. It is still light. Oh man. I can't remember what it's called. Ricky knew the name. Lassian, I think, food market. Lassian food place. market. <laughs> and look at all the barbecue. So much. And fish. Yeah. Wow. 150 for the fish. We're going to have a look around, see everything. Because look how much there is. Oh wow. Awesome! Budget meals from 50. Pata. Oh, Pata, this is the stuff on top of rice. Hi! You got lots of barbecue here. Wow! And cheesy scallops. Oh, cheesy scallops. Oh, here's the price. For 24 pieces. Wow! And you're barbecuing in the back there. Oh, yeah, you see, and it comes out in a basket. <laughs> oh, lucky people. <laughs> and some oysters. Wow, oysters. Wow. And these, like, classic... Like a bacon roll. It looks like a bacon wrapped... Oh, bacon wrapped something, yes. Because they got lots of sausages and things as well. And fried chicken. Hello. I even got sizzling meals here. Uh-huh. Two slob boer. The crunch boneless fried chicken. Wait, what? Boneless fried chicken. And things in, in, in pots. Hello, Mabuha. Hi. Thank you. Oh, they have those things. Slim tried one. Purple tomatoes. No, they salt eggs. I know, I know. Still not ready. Oh, and our favorite, Ricky will do the, the symbol. <laughs> Pink flowers. Get your flowers for Valentine's. Hi. <laughs> yes. Hi. And more, more of the fish and squid and clams and wow, everything here. And they'll take it back and cook it. Oh, you can get more than just a beer. What? There's just so much stuff here. Jumbo, 150. Oh, awesome. There is a lot of collection. I don't know what this stuff is. I might actually like to try that at some point, but yeah, all the usuals, but the gins and vodkas as well. It said the most trimming, trendy. trending. It's unlimited lechon and sebo. And look what they have. I think that's a whole pig. Oh, wow. Is that a real oh, pig? Have a try, Rick. Oh. Oh, and he's giving me a piece. Thank you so much. Oh, and it's hot. This is a piece of the meat. Mm. Oh wow. Nice. It's got like a little fat spice flavor. 400 for a half kg, right? Oh wow. Mm. Mm. What's your name, taxi driver? Um, my name is Chris. 
Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi. SM City Mall. <laughs> it is massive. Loads of different type of rice and noodles. Oh man, that looks so, so good. Get the scissors in there. This is proper carnival stuff. Oh, these are the several specialities, yeah. I haven't actually seen these ones. They, they have some regular ones here as well, but look at that, three, four, 100. Oh man, look at that. I'm not even sure what it is, like loaded fries or something. Na nacho Sierras. They look like they got potatoes, it is, it's loaded fries. They are so yum. That looks really nice. <laughs> this is what actually caught my eye, something boiling away. It smells lovely. Oh it's man. Like wow. Yeah, and it, it looks so interesting. This is Johnny's. Sizzling and roast, but 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 something just caught my eye. Seafood paradise. Look at this. Uh huh. Hang on, guys. Unlimited buffet, five ninety nine. And apparently this mall is famous for their. They've got at least ten, so count them with us as we find them. So Look that's that's number one. I'm going to show you inside. How beautiful is this place? Oh, you actually cook at your table. Oh wow. Oh wow, side dishes and then loads and loads of different sauces. You just lift that up. That's a paella. Oh and there's sushi. Oh man, loads of sushis and the seaweed. Uh-huh, noodles with mussels and some other things. I'm not going to leave them open because they're hot. There's more! Oyster. Oyster. oyster! Oh look at the oysters! Fresh oysters! Oh wow! And of course mussels and snails! Well those look like little crabs! Oh man! What an awesome buffet! Definitely! And there is still more! Oh Beef. man! Beef! Chicken! Chicken! Pork! Pork blood! Pork! Pork blood! blood. Pork blood, we've got a guy helping us out here. Look at that. Not sure if I'm ready for pork blood. Is it good? <laughs> yeah. You have to try it, apparently. Have to try it. And then little, oh, little lumpias. Little lumpias and sauce. Look at all the puddings. Oh, that looks amazing. Sweetened banana. Sweetened wow. banana. Are you the chef here? Yes. Ah, thank you so much. Oh man, what an awesome concept. You saw all that great food. And, and you can come and cook some here. It's an unlimited buffet. Thank you so much. Awesome. Jack, it is packed. It is the fullest and there's a queue. Wow. Spare ribs, 125. Yeah, what more can you say? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of stalls in the middle. Whoa. And those dried frogs. Seriously. Yeah. Wow. They just preserved Ooh. it. They put permanent inside. It will not smell bad. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's fascinating. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Cut them out. Uh huh. Souvenir jeep need to take home. Oh man, it's so, it smells so sweet because he's making candy floss. But wait for it. Food court. Oh man, it's massive. Traditional stuff. Marina, I think we actually saw these at that other place. Ayala. Hey. Hello. Look at all this great food. Hello. Oh man. Now, I think these are more the traditional foods. Hey. Oh, look at that big pot of soup. Yeah, it's a rice porridge. It's rice porridge. Yeah. Oh, wow. And this is another Marina, but this is the lechon version. Look at this. Plates and plates of lechon and, and regular stuff. There's even more down that way. Wow. But anyway, there's loads and loads more to see out there. Oh, top and dog. Hot dogs. Oh, and they got fries across there as well. Some fruit would be pretty nice about now. And also some corn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think these things are, are pretty popular. It's like the the cal calendera. 
brought into a food court. Amazing. There's just so much of it here, but if you have a look over there, someone brought the whole pig. Okay, have a look at these. These look absolutely yummy. Oh, he's going to cut a little bit. Oh, and he weighs it out. Oh man, that looks so, so good. Get the scissors in there. You might see people with suitcases around here. It's because a bus comes directly from the airport to right here. So like if you're desperate to get your Filipino foods, just get on the plane, fly down here and catch the bus right to here and be eating in no time. This is one of the sizzling places. Well, I'm just going to quickly show it. It's not my food guys, it's someone else's, so don't look too closely. But wow, how awesome does that look? They cook here right there in the back. Japanese food, hi. Do you guys have ramen? Oh, look at that. Awesome. Look at all of these. I bet every single one of these. Oh, they're banana cakes and all sorts of. I just saw something that looks so yummy here. What is that? They even have a, an area with rocks and things for the kids. That's pretty cool. While the kids are on the rides, you can get a massage. Uh, I hear karaoke. <laughs> there must be karaoke somewhere. Hey, what's pretty cool is they got loads of stuff here, but I'm just going to swing you guys around because this is proper carnival stuff. You got to throw the ring onto the bottle, or you got to come here and get the hoops in, or the best ever, pop the balloon, you throw a dart, whoop, whoop, and you win prizes. It is so cool. It's like a cooperative game. Oh man. Bump the cars on water. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, I've never seen this bump the cars in the water. It's a fun fair in a mall. They put a fun fair. Where's my giant wheel? There it is, my giant wheel. <laughs> it's just a picture. But I wouldn't be surprised if we found one here somewhere. Well, that was the food court. It says so there behind me. Hello. So, hi. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. That's what's cool about the Philippines. Let me just turn you guys around. The day of the week is it still the same day as we came in? I don't know. It, it feels like days have changed because apparently 100,000 people come here daily. Um, we, we're not quite sure where we're going. There, there's some stores and things here, but it feels very, I'm going to say, different. Oh, there's more stuff down there. I was not expecting it. No, I, I, I was just about to say it feels a little deserted. And then, wow, I think we're going to have to head in that direction. The Civet Coffee. And uh, this must be the Mac shop. Because you can't actually get into it, but it's got its, its logos and things all around it. Just try find the entrance, I think they're trying to say. <laughs> you can do it. You right. can do it. Yeah, something like that. But there we are. we got some people who just came from the airport. Yeah, they've even got a travel lounge here, I think, where you can shower yeah. and leave your baggage. They're probably looking for that. Yeah, yeah, probably. Not that we can find anything. That's where we just came from. Coming from down there, that sort of was the end with the H&M. But there's another channel down that way. Oh, oh. If we go through it, we can go up. Okay, we'll try, we'll try. Oh, Chillin' Vibe Cebu, you can get Cebu kit here. Oh, the, look at this awesome stuff. Hello, hello, Adventure Cebu. Tao, oh, I want that one. Tao is life. Somehow the shop is incorporated into everything. Why can we still go down? I don't know how you can still go down, but we're trying to go. We went down. Oh, this place is huge. It's really big. I mean, it is, it is massive. So look down there, mid-level. Oh, and there's even a, another level uh, above that. Wow. Oh, this place is huge. I'm pretty sure this is not the top level, but I'm just going to swing you around. It feels like it because the stairs are capped here. 
And they go all the way down. But there is another level above us. I, this place is huge as it is. And now they say there's a north wing somewhere. Right, so yeah. There it is. And this is that whole north wing extra bit they built. Which puts it right slap bang next to North Bus Terminal. And it's in the middle of Cebu. <laughs> but we've been lost for hours. So. <laughs> and there's supposed to be cinemas. Yeah. And there's supposed to be all you can eat, 10 places, we only found one. <laughs> Stores from everywhere. They actually even have a DC store. An actual DC store. But, but, I think I've figured it out. I think this is a mall for people who love malls. Because you come here and you explore a piece. And you make your maps and you prepare yourself. And the next week you come for the next bit. And you slowly build up a whole map of the entire mall. And I think it's for people who love malls. <laughs> It's that simple, guys, but let's just go ahead a bit. Or people who ate too much and need to walk it off. <laughs> walk it off. <laughs> I think I've heard about this. It looks like, he looks like a bit like a Viking. I think this might, oh, there we are. It does say Vikings. But there we are. That's the price for Vikings. We'll go see what it is. All you can eat. It's apparently has a very, very famous buffet place. Just a quick squiz inside Vikings. Look at that. They actually have lechon. And and steak and rice and potato wedges. Oh man. Eh? It's more like American stuff. Because yeah, yeah. Apart from the lechon. Did I just miss the Star Wars shop? Mm -hmm. Rudy Project. They obviously do some, some sunglasses that are for Star Wars. Stairs to car park or to El Fresco. A small Italian restaurant or something else. We have found number three. Cabalena. And here are their prices. Eat all you can, eat all you want. Look at all the juices. Straight up, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And then the rices. Loads of different type of rice and noodles. And fish and... Wow. If you want to experiment, these are like the best places to come experiment because you get the little bit of pork. Then you get what, what you don't know what that is. And then the little fishes, because you're dying to try the little fishes. Little sausages. And of course, what should be avoided at all cost. Margos. And, and, and. A soup. Yeah. Awesome. We were making our way out. We completely missed the pudding. That's why they put it here so you don't miss it. Oh, we've already tried these, but they put something on top like chocolate. And banana flan pudding. I think if you want to get a feel for, for like Filipino food, that's the sort of place you go. You pay your 500 and you get to try all those weird things that you're not sure about because you can just take one little fish. In there. Oh, I like that and get a whole plate of them. This is not something you see on a menu everywhere. Obviously, there's some interesting stuff here. But you can actually just buy yourself a whole lecture. Serve two ways. Yeah. Are those the round croissant things? They look incredible. Oh, wow. Really awesome looking. We're actually standing on the balcony. Hold on, hang in there, guys. Standing on the balcony, uh -huh. overlooking the river or whatever goes below. It's the train, it's the train. Uh -huh. Awesome. We're at Thirsty and. Hi, guys. Welcome to Thirsty. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, that's fresh coconut water. Wow. Oh. Oh, they're really, really good, and it's just like fruit. How awesome was that spelling? Uh huh. They uh -huh. know me. They watch my channel. <laughs> Fans. <laughs> but as it comes to this SM Mall, it is huge. Apparently, there's a bowling alley somewhere, 
It's got seven cinemas, including an IMAX, and there's still seven all-you-can-eat buffets that we didn't find. And yet, and yet, we walked around for weeks, hours and hours and weeks. And it just carries on. It just keeps going. Nine o'clock on a Sunday morning, or any morning in fact. Don't Still bother closed. coming here until ten o'clock. It's like nine o'clock now and it's closed. Only open to ten. <laughs> wow. Anyway, we're going to try to find a bus. Yeah, adventurizing. Back at the My Bus Terminal. And we're waiting for our bus, but... Two tickets, uh, 100 pesos. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the funnest it's been so far. We are actually literally jammed in the back of the truck. No space to move. Yeah. <laughs> Can I come huh? there? Yeah. Alright. Better there, Rick. No. <laughs> <laughs> Coming, whoa! <laughs> there we are, tell us a Lexon. There we are, he has our awesome driver, thank you so much. <laughs> and just for context, that's the little thing Ricky and I were both sitting on. I don't know how we managed. <laughs> oh man, they are actually queues. Not sure what the queues are for, but wow, there's so much stuff here. Right, so to get here, you take the bus, right, from Cebu, or wherever you're coming from. You have to get off at the San Isidro, yeah, San yeah. Isidro Road. San Isidro, and then hop on a, on a truck. It's yep. really easy, and you're here, right here. Yeah, 15 each. Yeah. So straight up as you arrive, uh -huh. you are greeted by the famous pig itself. Two massive pigs. Wow. Oh man, that's small, Rick. You need two people to carry it. Oh, carefully. <laughs> two subs breaking apart. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that piece. Oh, man. That's like a KG. Wow. And still more coming. You have to line up there. You have to line up and then you yeah, and buy it over there. You how many okay, awesome, thank you. You gotta get in line and then they ask you how many kilos and then they cut it. And a kilo is like a kilo. <laughs> oh here's another place. Not quite as long queues. But same idea. Come get a ton of lechon. <laughs> Not all that, John. That looks like sweet potato, some sort of a salad, and barbecue going on. Not sure what that is. I've never seen that before. Oh, barbecuing a huge fish. Wow. How much are these? Three fifty. Three fifty for that, right? Wow, it's huge. Oh, should have gone stand in line when we first got here. It's increased. Yeah, in the queue. And look how long it is. <laughs> it's going to be a little wait, but we'll wait. Hello. Hello. Want to try ice cream? Thank you. Oh, I've got to go share it. I've got to go share it with my husband. <laughs> Oh, what do you got there, Rick? <laughs> How'd you manage that? Obviously, I oh. look lonely. Oh, how soft is that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a good stuff. <laughs> Worth while coming here. Oh, it's really good. Rice. The rice? No, no rice. rice. No. Just, just the, the, the pig. So apparently they have dinner guan. Thank you so much. Which what, we should try at some point. What is dinner guan? It's a blood... Oh no no! We don't <laughs> <laughs> they have loads of other things. 
Oh wow, yeah. Wait, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> like these are some of the other things. I'll cut you with feathers. I'll cut you with feathers. That kind of looks like macaroni. Oh, that looks like flan, and that looks like the acha. And that is the dinner guang, something like that. Oh, yes. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, come early. They'll be getting there. Yeah, no, it's taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> Pig on a chopping block. <laughs> oh wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you cut a pig up. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> Chopping it up. <laughs> oh, wow. I got you, I got you. Look at this piece. Coming close, check it out. Are we going to get a million photos still? Mm -hmm. Let's go eat, let's go eat. Oh, it smells amazing. So good. This this is what I've been waiting for. This. Oh man. I mean look at that. Mm. Chase it with a piece of the etcher. Awesome, awesome Rick. I'm so happy. on skin because it's slightly crackled but when you bite it it is soft as anything oh yeah it is the best see how it's a bit thicker and if you look underneath it's like bubbly and that makes for perfect lecture on skin <laughs> awesome yeah this is a must do if you come and visit the table take a little cut in a bus like we did, or You're take a taxi. onto the track, get you up. Order more than half kg. <laughs> and definitely get this acha. It's divine. Oh man. So many. Oh wow. But look at that one. Super crispy. Oh. oh man. You're just sitting watching all day. And then eat it all day. <laughs> wow. If you decide not to come by bus but come by car, there is actually parking here. Uh, I, I don't see how much it is. Probably free. Yeah. University students. Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> hey. Must be doing something. Tell us yeah. it's a college. I think they're all going to get lecture on. Probably. 
loads of them. Yeah. Maybe their college is just done here. It's a Sunday. It's weird that the Philippines does school on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. It's, I suppose so that they can take a Monday off. Maybe. <laughs> So do these jeeps actually go to IT Park? I mean, it says so. Do you want to get a lift with one? See how far we can get. Yeah, let's go to. They're awesome. Hi. So everyone's coming out. Let's see if we can go to IT Park, Rick. Hello. Going to IT Park. Come on, Rick. Okay, thank you. Oh, we got our ticket to IT Park. 86. Well, the bus was doing fine, but now. <laughs> wow, did it fill up. After almost an hour. Ah, 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 there was a little bit of traffic, and it's a long, long way. We arrived at IT Park. Ayala Mall and Mall. Ayala Mall Central Block. Wow. There are loads of foods down here. Book your grab here. <laughs> Might be an idea as soon as there's no bus that goes back to the North Bus Terminal. Seems strange. It is. It's really weird. Have a look at this. These are the original flosses. Spicy chicken, premium chicken. Oh. Organic spicy chicken. But that's not top, top floss I thought it was. Sure. <laughs> this is a baked ham sandwich, but check it out, you can get egg toast. <laughs> oh man, this stuff is so cool, it's like a hot dog. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Food directory. <laughs> so, so as a foodie, you can come here and... Wow. Awesome, good, good find. Yep, everything is here. Standard mall. It looks quite big. It's got a lot of floors. Wow. Man, so many food choices here. And yet there's still more upstairs. So we're wandering around. And we see that sign that says Metro Supermarket down the escalator. But then it says Metro Supermarket right here. And um, it's just going outside. Well, what do you know? It goes down. They really do. Why would it be underground? Never been to a metro. But, uh, a boy belly. Yeah, I've got one of those. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was actually really funny. Um, but yeah, no, it's a proper supermarket. What do you spot, Rick? Oh, look at this cold meat. We've been looking for cold meat. Copper for. 4.25, we're going to keep looking for cold meat. <laughs> They're pretty standard, the rest of it. But you do find, look, there's little sushi things. Or you can get a little sushi. So if you're craving, just a craving, yeah. 120. And she's actually making it here. Wow. Yeah, fresh. Yeah. So you know it's fresh. Oh. Learning. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thank you I think we spotted some steaks. Look at those steaks. Oh, oh, and this oh is, wow. yeah. There's proper ribber. Oh wow. Doesn't no, say does. oh, it does on the back. 1300 Wow. <laughs> nice looking fresh fish. Tiger. Yeah, and loads of chicken and of course pork and a little beef. Hi. Root beer. Yes, we'll be like, oh, there's root beer. All of us get some root beer. We've never had root beer. <laughs> We're not sure if it's beer or if it's like a soft drink. Root. Like ginger, maybe. Oh, well, maybe it's ginger beer. Oh, that would be awesome. What is that smell? It smells like bubble gum. <laughs> People from Africa try root beer for the best time. <laughs> I know, I know, right? That's that stuff you rub on your. 
So there's opening of tops, I think it's called. We yeah. didn't see the whole of Sable and it's their soft opening today, so of course we've got to find the bus to get there. Uh-huh. We stopped at the metro. Get some juice, some juice. Stand in queue for hours and let's go. <laughs> it's a party. You can bring your pets. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and what great timing! Here comes the bus. So they offer this bus, and it's 200 per person return trip, and it includes your uh, entrance to Tops. <laughs> about 40 minutes might be early if you don't get stuck behind a jeep right. or something. The whole way up, yeah. <laughs> right, scary. It looks like you pay before you get off. Right. Well, as you saw, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Especially the end when it gets so steep. But anyway, let's head in. This is it. Still seems like a bit of construction. Uh-huh. <laughs> on what contract it's on. <laughs> wow only one thing can tear me away from Ricky and look at that view <laughs> wow well this is the view from the top I'm going to zoom in on some landmarks for you guys because mm -hmm. we're so high up here but that is New Star and uh, Sea View SMC side I'm just going to scan across there to the bridge uh huh it's that tiny little thing in the distance there, and I'm on 10 times zoom. It is just unbelievable. That's Sebu. You can see our house from here. <laughs> That's it right there, somewhere. <laughs> wow. Awesome, though. Eh? Oh, yeah. That's Mandau. And then behind Mandau, there's the, that's Lapulapu. And you can see on the end there all the resorts. Oh man, huh? Eh? Well, the one seems to be sticking out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's all about the view. It really is. And the food. Of course, it's about the food as well. So let's go see what there is to eat here. It's open late. Apparently the last bus leaves at like 1.30 or 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, it does seem like one of the most popular here. Pizza. We've got to decide on which one we want to get. Oh man, they all look so good. Must try. So the shawarma one, we're going to get it a must try. One slice of must try. <laughs> Thank you. Pizza Queen. Oh, oh, oh. Pie check. Pizza check. Just gotta get the juice. Or you can mix them all. Uh, it's like um, layered flavors. Layered flavors. Okay, no, we, have to do we have to do that. Yeah, for sure. And it's on special at the moment. Is this just for the soft opening for yeah. 400? Okay, awesome. Here we go with pink first of all. Strawberry. Strawberry. Electric lemon. Electric lemon. Oh, that comes out. Look at that. It's like marble. It's got a marble effect on it. Oh, thank you. We can sell less 100 pesos. Less 100. Oh, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Enjoy. Oh, we certainly will. Oh, oh, oh. Get that yard down, Rick. Wow, it actually matches your dress. How awesome is that? <laughs> Time for a change. Yeah, it's getting better. <laughs> oh, look at that. It mixes. <laughs> Got vodka, right? It's like it all moves and, and it's like a lava it's like, lamp. <laughs> it's a lava lamp but made of vodka. Mm. Anyway, I've been dying to try this pie. Go Got for it. it. From here. Yeah. 
a deep fried pie. It's still so hot. I'm just going to go for it. Go for it. Mm. Mm. This is a thing. It's a thing, everybody. Mm. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Meaty. Mm -hmm. It is so yummy. It is so, so yummy. It's like a pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Rick, it's so massive. <laughs> pizza time. Shawarma pizza must try. Yes. You want a crisp? Wow, this is like a shawarma. This stuff is like a garlicky mayo. And then it's got these meats like from a rotisserie. Oh. Do you feel like you want to roll it up? Oh. <laughs> you cut it off one of those And put like things. some cucumber in it. Okay, yes. Really nice. <laughs> oh, awesome. Ah, from my college days. <laughs> you used to drink beer out of these things. <laughs> you don't know when it's going to come. <laughs> you got to roll it otherwise it explodes down your face. Oh wow, I didn't know these things. <laughs> That's why you go to university. <laughs> I went to study. <laughs> I think it's going to be a pretty cool place when they're finished with it. But I'm glad we came. It's really getting quite busy. Especially over there in the shade. <laughs> you can bring your pets, I think. <laughs> and there's the buses waiting to take us back. <gasps> We're gonna go back down that road. <laughs> it's gonna be terrifying. It is so steep. Luckily, we had some vodka. Yeah, courage. <laughs> well, they're building something massive over there. Wow, watch the space, guys. Oh, right, there's like a whole other restaurant. Wow. You, Susie. This will be a must try. Oh. Just have a look at oh, wow. It looks like a photograph. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to zoom in a little bit and focus on that but it looks like they put a photograph of Sebu but it isn't it's really Sebu that's quite amazing oh it's quite nice they've got like rustic wooden tables and a rustic wooden floor that scarily you can see to the bottom all the way of the down world to the edge of the earth all the way through there uh, hello oh we're just having a look thanks <laughs> Jerry, don't mind the floor Yeah, no, the floor is <laughs> creeping me out of it. Oh, wow. How awesome is that? You can reserve tables. Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And for perspective, this is the new wing. Yeah. Imagine what that's going to be like when it's finished. And here's the menu for when you plan to come. It's an interesting looking thing. Sure, yeah. And of course the beers and wines. Oh, all the ways to say thank you. Can you spot your language? Because they've even got like, I think that's Zulu. Yeah. Right, so the tickets that you got when you arrived, you hang on to them because you need them to get into the place and to get back. There's like nothing between IT Park and SM City you can get there. But you can't get back. And all the taxis are full, so we're <laughs> But it's nice. <laughs> Look at these guys. There's a tree, yeah? And they're making this thing. What's it called? Carmito. 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 I'm just going to try it. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Philippines. Thank you. It's sweet. Oh wow! Uh, it's gluey, it's really yummy! Star apple, yummy. Star apple! Star okay! Apple. Oh, this is so cool! Hi! <laughs> oh man, this is so good! You gotta try it, Rick! <laughs> Tree next to a cultic, <laughs> and everyone's feasting! Yeah, standing room only! <laughs> but as you can see, everyone is now walking. Uh, it's just easier. Yeah, but look at that, it says like a church. 
looks like a great um, Can you walk from IT Park to SM City? Yes, you can. Should you? Probably not. It's quite a long way. <laughs> going on the bus to Telesay. We're not actually going to Telesay, we're going to New Star. <laughs> the bus dropped us here because we want to go to New Star, which is over there. But there's no actual way to get there or get across the road. Yeah. Okay, so other people arrived on another bus and just so, sort of hightailed it over this really busy highway and over the wall, which doesn't seem like the right way to do this thing. <laughs> okay, let's go down. It looks like you can get across the Okay, New Star is a casino and they have a mall, but it's also got a massive hotel. Okay, so we probably did this the wrong way because the My City bus or the My Bus will come here from the other direction. But how do we get to the other direction? Uh, we were going in that direction. And go then, all the way to Talisay and come back. Come back. <laughs> I think mean, that's the best solution. <laughs> because, well, we had to dodge traffic over this highway. Anyway, we're sort of here now. Welcome to New Star. We're going to explore it all. <laughs> that's awesome. Food court. <laughs> Unlike anyone you've ever seen. Wow. Cafe it's Laguna. Magical. It is magical. Taiwan Shabu Shabu. I think Shabu Shabu is like a hot pot or something like that. Oh, yeah, look. They're actually making it there. Oh, wow, it is quite beautiful inside. Look at that. Where you get your hot pot. Awesome. Cafe Laguna seems to be the busiest. I don't know what they have. Let's go have a look. Hey. Okay. Thanks. It's Brian Discovers World. Brian Discovers World. Can I have a look at your What's menu? Yeah. Yeah, we are. This is the menu from. It seems to be the most popular Cafe yes. Laguna. Everyone seems to be in there. Well, we okay. Soon. Filipino cuisine. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, what's your top menu? Item? And we have very fresh lumpia, sir. Fresh lumpia. Okay, well, here's the pricings, guys. Check it out. The most popular one we found so far. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. This is Yumwa, and they're, they're promising aging meat restaurant. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. They've got uh, lunch specials. Which would be prime rib with short. Wow. Those sound amazing. Look at these aging steaks. <laughs> I kid you not. They actually are aging them here. And of course, you gotta have good wine to go with it. What's pretty cool is like even the, um, the little fire extinguishers have a little. <laughs> it's attention to detail that make like these places like they are. Uh -huh. The ladies just fault I'm gonna be quiet, but pretty nice. <laughs> Premier Cinema, yeah, we're just going to pop in because I think maybe that's what the seating looks like. Try our VIP cinema seats. Oh yeah, now she's figured it out. Oh, and it reclines. Oh, it keeps going back. <laughs> that's how you watch a movie. That is so awesome. Cinemas have changed a lot since I last went. Man, that cinema is pretty awesome. <laughs> wow. So this just then. VIP chairs, 700. <laughs> awesome. And 500 for a regular seat. But pay the extra 200, guys. That seats are worth it. Well, I think they want to keep their stuff private there. They've got these shutters. So. I don't know how you say it. Kashima. Kashima. We need to do the table cooking thing. We moved away from the, the food court. These look like shoes wrapped in plastic. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Playground, get outside. We are the most inside we've ever been though. <laughs> Starbucks, probably the cheapest place here. <laughs> oh, Big Star Pizza coming soon. I think this might be the food court, the, the food food court. Okay, so the fancy stuff downstairs wasn't the food court. I think this is. So we've got coffees and, oh, there are quite a few places. Let's go check some of them out. Jose's Filipino Kitchen. Oh, hot wings, buffalo bread, somewhere called Lechon Belly. Oh, and that's that's probably the Lechon Belly. Look at that. Half kg, 640. This place seems quite popular. They're steaming dumplings and things as well as clay pot rice. It's actually making one. Which is this one? This is the chicken plate. This is the chicken plate. It's got the feet in it. Oh wow, that looks so good. Nunky Express. Oh, he's going to do some wok stuff. 
the spicy bit that you're putting yeah. in. Choices and 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 I'm just going to show you the price on that that beautiful ramen dish we had. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if we're going to have it yet. <laughs> How beautiful are these prawns? Wow, and everything just looks so good. Oh man, perfect timing! <laughs> Look at that! Oh wow! Yeah, with the soup oh, thing and everything and, sauce on top. and dips. What's under the. Ooh, look at that! It's like the Lily Pond at Pumpumas uh, <laughs> Botanical Gardens. <laughs> those are beautiful. It does, they look. I mean, are those like pineapple calamaris? Mm -hmm. Oh man, check this out, Rick. Ooh, oh wow! Scorching hot! Looks gorgeous. Of course, you gotta start with <laughs> fork and spoon problems. Now, this is the noodle, it's it's a pensive one, eh? so it's got the two types. Yeah, yeah, it's hot. Good noodle issues. Now, time for the main show. Mm. Calamari, you just gotta dip it in, in this vinegar. vinegar. Thing. Take the whole thing in. Mm. Big pot experience. It's a rice pot, right? And it's, it's ceramic, so it's it's too hot to touch. Uh -huh. Let's get rid of that carrot. Look, it's like sausage. And then I don't know what this black thing is that he put on. Is it a mushroom? Maybe. And then this is the spare ribs oh, underneath. Lovely. And then the rice actually gets cooked against this clay pot. Uh -huh. So it's, it's just like a, a paella thing. Sort what of like that. It looks. Yeah, it's stuck to the edge. Mm. It's gonna be scorching hot. Scorching hot. <laughs> what is the, it? The orange at the bottom is actually not a pattern. Oh, it's actually something at the bottom. Well, look at that. Oh. Well, pumpkin. It's actually very nice. I think I know what you do with this. Oh. Uh huh. You had to be rice in it. Oh. That works. Chinese clay pot meets Meat Filipino, Filipino soup. soup. <laughs> it works perfectly. Mm -hmm. Even this. Yeah, those are lovely. Smoky Dunk it in there. Soup. It's so nice. <laughs> That's really nice milk. So fun. I think we're the winners today. I think so. We came to the casino and won. <laughs> like Belgian chocolate cream or something. No idea. Oh, it looks good. Eh? I'm going to cut into it. Oh, it's quite stiff. Oh, wow. Oh. I can't imagine how anyone could do this better for 72 pesos. I mean, it tastes like real cream. 
I'm very impressed by that. Come to Newstar and get this. They're just missing the eye. Oh, I'm the eye. Ricky's the eye. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ricky Hart said, oh, it's supposed to be the person. Yeah, good one. Yeah, these might be edible gifts. Yeah, mini bear chocolate. It's awesome. And this, I just want to show you guys this. These cakes are beautiful. I, wow. Oh man. Apparently there's bacon under that. For scale. It's massive. <laughs> it's a bacon ensamada, we think. Real croissants. <laughs> oh, it's an almond croissant. Wow. Oh wow, that's bling. Wow. This is, stunning. this is a reception. That's what it is. Like three of them. Symbolizing something, no doubt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Not sure if it's a chandelier or an artwork. Wow. But it matches, it's complimented well by a pretty lady. <laughs> oh wow. I think this is the entrance. Edible gifts, possibly, I don't know. Oh, that's definitely edible. <laughs> and, oh, wow. I think so. Oh wow, look at this. It is. You're not really allowed to film yeah, casinos, but, but you definitely have to. It is beautiful, but this, wow. Oh, oh, that light just hit me. Wow. Well, I don't know what is up there, but that is one impressive escalator. Good luck, hot pot. Look at how amazing this looks. Oh, wow. This is the entrance into the most beautiful restaurant I've ever seen. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh wow. Empty, so, we so we could get some footage. I think they're opening soon. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, I have a dining wow. area. Look at it. This is just, just beyond beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Hello. It's amazing we're going to the aquarium where you can pick what you want to eat. Look at the size of the crayfish. Hello. Uh -huh. That looks like the eating and, and crabs. Are any of these called lapu lapu? Yes. Sir. Heard about yes, them. The are these the lapu lapu? Yes, all of them. All of these are lapu lapu? Yes, different kinds of lapu lapu. Slipper lobster and the uh, mud dogs. Look at the Oh, look at those weird things. <laughs> that is totally alien. Yeah. Do people eat that? Yes, sir. Is it nice? Yes, sir. <laughs> it seems like it tastes like um, shrimp. Really? Wow. Yes, look at the size of those crayfish. Like to see our floor, of course we yes. would. <laughs> and now we're upstairs with these beautiful pots. Uh-huh. And more dining. Overlooking the dining room. And that ceiling. Golden dragons. And it's the year of the dragon, so how great is that? Oh wow. Wow. Half dining? The half of KTV inside. You got the KTV. Yes. When you oh. So you finish eating. Does this turn? Does the middle thing turn? Look at that. <laughs> so you put the food and you have to wait for it to come around again. Oh man. Wow. And that's the size of the TV. Yes, sir. Hold this, Rick. Look at the size of this TV. Sure. You'll even be able to read the words. <laughs> oh, are you not that blind? <laughs> oh, wow. Chinese princess. <laughs> it looks awesome. Good luck. Wow. 
What a place. Anyway, let's check it out what the menu is. Look right, at so that. 2000 a person at the moment looks like they've got a special, right? Yes, ma'am. So I sent me no promotion for this month. Yeah, this is Barcino. It's actually bar in the name. In yeah, the yeah. Cino. Cino. They've got like a whole ham yeah. there. 1200 for 100 grams. grams. But it's real. It's yeah. the real one. It's nice, it's kind of like an inside-outside European vibe. Oh wow, so from Barcino you've got SM Seaside. Uh -huh, and the bridge. And the whole bridge. This must be stunning at night. March 32. I think uh, originally in 1891, wow. Must be a nighttime thing, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Lunch open day. Not today. Yeah. Yeah, we're wow. probably not going to eat there for a while, guys. Yeah. 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 You can take photos for years in this place. It is just so, so beautiful. Fountains. This is the mall area. Just got these beautiful, I don't know, fish bird somethings. And if you have heard of it, it's going to be here or coming soon. We're trying to work out if this is a food shop or a jewelry shop. No, the ice creams. <laughs> They're luring me in with ice cream to sell me jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Necklace from Bulgari, Rick. Our jewelry or deal at the wedding, wedding shop and wait for it. Already. They already in Louis Vuitton. Let's go see some. What? what, what, what? Yes. Luggage. <laughs> Real Louis Vuitton because there was no price tags. <laughs> I suppose if you have to ask. It's yeah. Tiffany and Co are coming. But uh -huh. oh, wow, this place is a place. It really is. Someone else is coming. I guess they're just going to have every big person here. And they are busy actually with the shop fittings. Yeah, they're actually inside there doing it, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> oh. Well, there's a, a jewelry place and a Robinson's Bank. I didn't even know they had a bang. It's a commercial <laughs> <laughs> This is Il Corsa. But this is actually the food section which gets alive at night. So we will be back for that. But first of all, let's go check out the actual mall. Wow, this looks like a foodie haven. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting really hungry at the moment. Check out some of this stuff. This whole fish. Uh-huh. Alapu lapu. And, and, what Sebo is famous for? That's not... Beef pork belly. Wow, and crab, of course. From here, it looks so grand. Ah, oh, joggers here. <laughs> yeah, we caught them earlier, not jogging. But from here, it looks impressive. It's, it's got a presence with the, the big building and the lighthouse and everything. And then... Imagine the lifestyle because of the sea yeah. and this walkway. And You've got this great walkway. It, it's somehow... I think it is exactly what it is because you, you do your walk down the seaside and you go yeah. get something to eat and you go home. I think that's probably I it. I think you're here for shopping. No, you're just here for a meal. I saw some joggers, Rick. Oh, well, you look at that. At least you get a sunset. How awesome is that? Wow, oh, look at the sky. It's so purple. It's because the sun's setting. But check out New Star. Yeah, oh, it just looks awesome. As promised, we're back. Oh, oh, oh. Man, all day breakfast. But check out what these guys have. Barbecue. Whoa. Loads of it. Hi. I spotted this through through the smoke there. It's called uh, butter fried chicken, but check it out. It's a whole chicken fried, like a butterfly whole fried chicken. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's amazing. It really does. A little bit reflective, guys. The whole chicken is 
420 without the meal. Oh, tacos and more. They actually have tacos. Those look like crispy tacos. Uh huh. And taco bites. Oh, oh they actually have salads. Yeah, no, I mean, you, you don't see much of that. That looks awesome. Oh, yeah, I recognize these tables. Two slob boa. <laughs> big brain. Big. I said big. <laughs> Here's the price for two people. Ten pieces of rice. Nice. It says Sisig bar. Yes, they must sir. have loads of Sisig then. We have Sisig room. Are there different types of Sisig? This is beef Sisig. There's a beef version. This is pork. And a pork one. The okay. other is called to order. Okay, awesome. Native chicken. Is that native chicken? Yeah, you have to cook that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Steak shack. Oh man. Some awesome looking foods with bone marrows. Wow. Uh -huh. And what are they cooking here? Liver. Uh, look at that. What is that on there? We have four of green liver. Wow. wow. Man, so much meat. Yeah. Awesome. But this is Sutakil by the sea. On the other side, there was other brands that were by the sea. And then across there is another huge restaurant. Oh, and Ever Present is the new style. I think we're definitely coming to Steak Shack, but there's so much choice, so we're not 100% sure. But also, I didn't say earlier, only oh, rice, only gravy, and only sub... sub what? what is that? It's soup. It's vinegar. Is it mass? Oh. Made from Gogoi. Okay, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. <laughs> oh, oh, on fire! Oh, oh, oh. Awesome! It's better flame cooked. Oh man, look what we got going here. Shrimp. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, red sauce. Oh wow, chef skills. Over the flame. Oh. 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 And the prawns wow. are ready. Yeah. Beautifully, well done, well done. What, what is the most popular? Pork steak. Tomahawk. Tomahawk. Here's my steak. Yeah. Oh, oh, being cooked for me. On yeah. those grills. Wow. That thing looks massive. Whoa. Awesome. Yeah. You guys are awesome. They are awesome. I can't wait for my plain cooked steak. Oh man, uh, look at that. It came sizzling on a plate. Ah, really hot. <laughs> Looks so cool. Uh, what happened to this food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like I got a knife. Oh man, we took it off the plate. It's like super hot. I actually burned my finger. Put uh -huh. it on this one. But we got our soup and our gravy. Oh my word, you know. And it's like only, but you know, That's so cool. Yeah, no, we're sharing <laughs> it because we've eaten enough today. Yeah. Wow. It's like got a wow. color to it, like but it's treats. super, <laughs> super hot. It's sour. It's really sour. Ah, Ooh, yeah. I like that. I really like that. Sinigang. A sinigang soup, but without any of the other stuff. It's just like a refreshing lemon soup. Like the type you wash your hands in at the fancy restaurants. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, nicely well done. <laughs> it tastes good though. It's actually got a very nice smoky taste. Dip it in the gravy. Mm. Good gravy. Yeah. Like pepper. Oh. Bit of rice, bit of steak, bit of this beautiful pepper gravy. Oh yeah. Is that the ticket? Mm -hmm. I'll come join you with that. Someone brought a superstar. Everyone stop what they're doing. 
Thank you so much. That food was awesome. Thank you. Bye. Live music as well. Yeah. Right, so this is really busy highway. And apparently we can just stand here and flag down the... A bus. A bus. They come every half hour. I'm not so sure about that. How difficult can it be? <laughs> Oh man, what awesome views. But now we're off to the provinces. Thanks guys, great stay. Yeah, awesome. Come on, let's go find a taxi. <laughs> Tourists, so uh -huh. yes, it is expected that they are going to a tourist uh, island. That's right. 